Dernan, why don't you tell me the tale here about how we met here? I... I can do that, Captain. To tell the tale of how we met, I have to start at the beginning. Alright, start there. That's a good idea there. First, the earth cooled. And then, the dinosaurs came. But they got too big and fat, so they all died and turned into no, oil. No, no, Dernan. no, Darren. No, no, Sk skip ahead a little bit, matey. We don't not not the beginning of all time. No, you and I, the island. I, you know the story. Much shorter and much better. I, I, Captain. So more like not sailing from plunder to Galleon's grave, but more like Cannon Cove to Golden Sands. I, ah, I, yeah, you can drink to that there. Short version. I. To tell the tale of how we met, I have to start at the beginning. When you found me on that island, I was a broken man. Looking at all those chickens and hearing the mermaid song, I can't believe I stayed alive as long as I did. Nothing in my previous life as a miner prepared me for what was to come. Nothing I found on the island could be crafted into anything helpful. All I had was a sword and a shovel, which was alright for chasing and catching chickens with the skeletons. Those were a whole different story. To tell the truth, Captain, when you sailed up to that island, I thought it was some sort of fever dream. Some sort of next level torture designed by the skeletons. I had wiped out so many skellies, but more and more kept coming up. Different kinds of skellies, but all of them hungry for me. Chasing me wherever I would go on the island. Ones with pistols, but once they died there wasn't any ammo left behind. Ones with big kegs of gunpowder, but no fuse to light it. Ones with bananas. That that one I never did figure out. Where do skeletons keep bananas? I don't know, Any Jordan. result. I don't. We don't have any. We've all been trying to figure that one out. Aye, aye. <laughs> Your boat sailing to the island must have been sent by the whale lord. But I had seen so many things on that island that I couldn't trust. I had to be sure that you were real. Easiest way to do that was to bring you some of my treasure and that I'd found in my time on the island and see what you made of it. And by treasure, I obviously am referring to the gunpowder barrels. After I was sure you were real, my first question was whether you knew a way to bury the skeletons so they didn't come back. But of course, they always rise from the islands. You offered me safe passage to the nearest outpost, and then we would part ways. Or so we thought. We didn't know that other pirates would attack the ship, or that more would be lurking at the outpost, or that storm would blow us off course and almost strand us on a different island. Ah, that was a, that's a good one. <laughs> well, Dernan, I think we all get the picture. You are a part of this crew and we all, we all love you there for it. Don't we, boys? Let's all drink and start our adventure here properly. Aye. Raise our glass okay. here to our mate, good Dernan. Night. Captain, work so. I. I'm fasting grog. Sorry, I'm not drinking. You're what? <laughs> fasting, fasting grog. That's uh, unacceptable. You must, you must drink with us. All right, raise your glasses and let's get this going here, boys.